Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I'm Manhar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In this video, we will learn how to install Windows subsystem for Linux 2 on Windows 11 system. In this video, we will walk through everything you need to get WSL2 up and running on Windows 11 including prerequisites, installation steps and optional configurations. Windows Subsystem for Linux 2 is one of the most popular features for developers on newer versions of Windows operating system. Using WSL, developers can access the power of both Windows and Linux at the same time on a Windows machine. We can run Linux containers on WSL2 on Windows 11 for development and testing purposes. WSL enables us to run a full Linux kernel directly onto your Windows machine without having to use an emulator. It enables using native Linux utilities, tools, applications and other technologies without spinning up a Linux virtual machine or even dual booting a host operating system between Windows and Linux. As a result, it can be a great way to learn about virtualization, Linux and other technologies that are keys to DevOps. WSL2 requires virtualization to be enabled. If virtualization is turned off, you can enable it by accessing the BIOS. An important point to remember is that WSL2 runs on a lightweight Hyper-V VM which may conflict with third-party hypervisors like VirtualBox and VMware Workstation. To prevent issues, avoid running WSL and third-party virtualization software on the same computer. Let's start the demonstration. Right-click on Start menu and select Windows PowerShell Admin. First, we are going to install the Virtual Machine Platform feature on this Windows 11 machine. Type command enable hyphen Windows optional feature hyphen online hyphen feature name Virtual Machine Platform hyphen all hyphen no restart. Press enter to run the command. This will install the Virtual Machine Platform feature on this Windows 11 device. Once the installation is complete, we will need to restart the Windows 11 machine to apply the changes. Type command restart hyphen computer and press enter. After the restart, sign into Windows 11 again. To install Windows Subsystem for Linux 2 on Windows 11, open a Windows PowerShell as an administrator and run wsl install command. Right click on Start menu and select Windows PowerShell Admin. Type cmdelete wsl install and hit Enter key. This single command downloads the latest version of Windows Subsystem for Linux, install it on the system and then downloads an Ubuntu distribution for us. Assuming your computer is connected to the internet. Sit back and wait until the process is complete. Currently WSL 2.5.9 is being downloaded. Once downloaded, the next step is the installation of WSL 2. Let the installation process complete. WSL installation is complete. Currently Ubuntu is being downloaded. Once downloaded, the next step is the installation of Ubuntu. Ubuntu installation is complete. To launch Ubuntu from the command prompt, run the command wsl-d ubuntu and press enter. We will be asked to create a user account for Ubuntu. Let me type msft admin and hit enter. Set up a password for this user account. Retype the password again and hit enter key. Congratulations, you have successfully installed WSL2 with Ubuntu on your Windows 11 computer. We are in the Ubuntu system on Windows 11 using WSL. Type command lsb underscore release hyphen a and press enter to verify it. This will give us information about the version of Ubuntu installed. We can see the release version 24042 LTS. Type the command exit and press enter to return to the PowerShell prompt. Let me clear the screen. Type the command wsl status and press enter. From the output, we can confirm that we are using WSL2 and Ubuntu is our default distribution. We can check the version of currently installed WSL2 with our wsl-version command. To start the shell again, 
use the WSL command or the start menu shortcut called Ubuntu. Open the start menu and search for Ubuntu. From the result, select the Ubuntu app to launch it. This will launch the Ubuntu WSL shell again. We need to run updates and make sure we are fully patched. Type command sudo apt update and hit enter. Enter sudo password and press enter key. Let me clear this screen. Now type command sudo apt upgrade and hit enter key. Total 118 packages can be upgraded. Do you want to continue? Type Y and hit enter key to continue with the upgrade process. This will take some time to download the updates and then it will start installing the updates on our Ubuntu 2404. In the background, we can also see one pop-up about welcome to Windows subsystem for Linux. Let's go there. Here we can see the brief information about WSL. Uh, you can also install Ubuntu or any other Linux distributions from Microsoft App Store. Here we have the options for GPU acceleration. Uh, here we have the option for network integrations. Uh, distro management option is here. You can install a new WSL distro using WSL hyphen hyphen install distro command. We also have the option for Docker desktop integration and VS Code integration. That's all for this video on how to install WSL2 on Windows 11 machine. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comments section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.